<sighs> Guess that's gonna have to do. Our story begins here with a young man named Zach Jones. Zach was a drug dealer, a addict to weed, I guess you could say, and he didn't mind it. He would smoke when he could, and he would have fun making friends when he could. He enjoyed every part of it. It wasn't just a job for him, but it was a lifestyle. And this is his story. I see Fred already let himself in. Fred's a cool guy. As long as he doesn't bring, you know, all of his friends. They're a little crazy. Ah, uh, there it is. My home. Oh boy. Can't wait to be back. Oof. You know, it might not be the best lifestyle for a drug dealer, you know. But, I grow some good weed. To be honest, I think the guy that owned this house before me died, anyways. Uh, so when I walked in there, I saw a dead body, you know. Took him out, buried him. So I think it's safe to say the lease is on hold and I could take care of it. If that's even how real estate works, I'd... I don't really know, like I said, I'm a drug dealer, so... Oh, God. Good old town. God, when am I gonna take that fence down? Jeez. Oh, feels good to be home. Oh, my favorite jacket for when it gets cold out. Ah, oh, shit! Seems like whoever took my pillows took my favorite gun, too. And left this piece of shit here. Uh, shut up, Fred. Ah, fuck. And a mask. What the hell? Huh. Well, I guess I should head up to the base. Maybe pick up a new rifle for me. Yeah. So we're right here. The plan was for me to run all the way up to Tissy military base, hopefully find maybe a survivor or a gun, some weapon, ammunition, you know, it's just in case if I get into a little bit of a pinch. The plan didn't really work out so well. I didn't find much ammunition. But when I got back, that's when I saw it. A guy came into my place. Can you believe that? My fucking place. I was in my house, working through all my stuff, when I hear something outside, and it was a man. The man sounded very nervous, with very, very deep uh, Russian roots, and he would say to me, Get out of this place. Leave right now. And I, me, didn't know what to do. I didn't want to leave my home behind, so I took what I had, which was a rifle with one bullet, loaded it, and killed this man. I'm not proud of it, but it had to be done. That's what you don't do. Don't. 
Don't fuck with me in that way, please. Or else I'm gonna have to do the same to you. I don't wanna do that. Well. Fuck this. Goodbye. Thanks for the shit, man. <laughs> Fuck it, eh? What an idiot. Ugh. A lot was realized on that day. People aren't just gonna be all hippity hippity and high when you wanna go ahead and meet them. I had to be a little bit more careful. A little bit more wary of my surroundings. Question everybody and make sure that they aren't there to kill me. And that they didn't have any friends that wanted to kill me. So I hired some bodyguards. You know, real tough guys. They didn't mind getting the job done. No matter what it was, as long as they're getting paid. Ugh. And, uh, the things we did that night. I'm not proud of it, but uh, I almost kind of enjoyed it. I don't know. Am I losing my mind? Or am I just becoming ev like everybody else? Me and uh, my body, my bodyguards, I guess, my self-proclaimed bodyguards, are gonna meet up, and uh, we're gonna see what's up. Seems like we got a couple of uh, couple of curious cats over here. Stay away. Stay away. I don't know, are you okay? Yeah, that's what they all say, huh? Probably one of those crazy bastards, aren't you? Why am I fucking hiding? It's the fucking apocalypse. Why do you think I'm fucking hiding? Shit's gone to fucking shit. Yeah, 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 sure. Sure, you're just like the rest of them, aren't you? You're fucking murderer or some shit, aren't you? You piss. Get away! Get away. I don't want anything to do with you. No. Leave me alone. Stop. Stop it. 
How can I trust you, huh? How, how, how can I how can I believe that you're not one of those crazy fuckers? Doesn't matter if you have a fucking gun. People do plenty of bad shit without a gun. Doesn't mean you're not fucking dangerous. You could have friends for all I fucking know. I saw you talking to... Talking to... Where the fuck? Yeah, see? He's in fucking hiding, isn't he? You trying to fucking kill me? Don't you dare. Don't you dare try and fucking kill me. Where'd your fucking friend go? Stop it! Where'd your friend go? I don't want no fucking problems. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Hey, you with her, man? Huh. Oh, you don't know him, huh? Yeah, I bet I bet you don't. Well, I'm fucking calm. I'm as calm as can be for being in this shitty situation. This fucking situation. What do you mean situation? Do you not hear the fucking, the freaking Fred? Do you not hear Fred running around out there? Hello, um, Mr. Jones, is that you? How, how do you know my name? Oh, fuck. I fucking knew it. This is a fucking, this is a fucking trap. What's up? Fucking knew this was a fucking trap. Couldn't trust anyone, you see. You know, in my business, being a drug dealer, I did some things that I'm not proud of. And, uh, people are looking for me. So kind of have to be wary of everyone I meet, and uh, these people were no exception. That's what they all say, huh? Are, are you right, Have you I've just met a lot of bad people in a very short amount of time, you know, it fucks with you, you know? Yeah, I, I, I know those people. They're, I don't fucking trust anybody now because of some things that have happened. Because sometimes they need to come down and maybe get a drink of water. You ever think about that? <laughs> There's a fucking lake. I'm going to drink out of a fucking lake, huh? Yeah. yeah, get some fucking disease and some shit. Real smart. I ain't got a fucking disease, man. We're in a shitty fucking place with some shitty fucking people with some shitty fucking things. As far as I can tell, I'm aware. this isn't a good place to be, you know, nice and kind and all fucking hippity dippity all up in this shit anymore. Maybe you should go in there. The fucking church? If God was real, yeah. he'd be fucking helping us out, wouldn't he? fucking alive because of what I had to do. I do a lot of things I'm not fucking proud of. Huh? Maybe he gave you strength to make it this far, huh? Look, man, just keep your fucking distance, okay? I don't want a fucking problem. You don't want a fucking problem, huh? I don't think you, you know who you're talking to, huh? I don't like that attitude. 
I come as close as I will. <sighs> Lady, I hear what you're trying to say, but you have to understand. The shit I'm in right now. The shit we're all in. People are just too fucking nice. It's too fucking suspicious. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, that's gonna be the end of that part. You know, next part coming soon, real soon. I put a lot of work into this, so if you don't mind, please leave a like, subscribe, do what you will. Uh, you know, um, thank you to everyone that helped me out. Daisy in particular for giving me the opportunity and, you know, the things to do what I do. Um, Roach, especially Roach, he helped me out with OBS. He let me know how to fix the Gamma stuff. So, uh, thank you to him. Um, the entire Bratva squad, my bodyguards, they'll be coming into the story soon. Don't worry. Uh, they're the shit. I'd also like to thank, um, Tia Lopez. I don't know her, uh, forum name, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find her. Tia Lopez. She's the shit. Met her before. Dr. West, the little doctor. He's fucking, he's the fucking bomb diggity too. Um, and sorry to, uh, I apologize to Blitz for the situation we had where I killed him at the end. Uh, that was a misunderstanding, but it made for, like, a good storyline for me. So, uh, I appreciate that in a way, but I understand that it was a little bit of, um, you know, unreasonable. And, uh, yeah, thank you for, thank you again, Blitz, for giving me, like, a new perspective on the game and how I'm gonna be playing now from now on. I feel like it brings more interesting roleplay, and I enjoy it. Uh, another huge thank you to, um, all the people that I meet in this community, man. The... They're great, they're wonderful, I mean, I don't know what else to say, you know? Um, yeah, so uh, stay tuned for the next part. See ya!